Hey guys, welcome back to Bella Boo's Lunches, or if you're new, welcome. Look at all this food. So we just got back from vacation. We had to restock on pretty much everything. And this is what we bought at the grocery store. So I went to Hy-Vee. Which spot should I start on? This one over here? I always feel like I start over there, so I'm going to start over here. So I got some baby red potatoes, broccoli, and cauliflower. A lot of these things I like to do in a broil, so I just put it on a pan, mix it with olive oil, lemon juice, garlic, salt. I think that's it. And then you just broil it in your oven. It's like the easiest dinner ever, and you can put anything in there that you want. So we're going to do the broccoli, the baby red potatoes, just a, like a handful of everything. Uh, cauliflower, mushrooms, um, tomatoes, even onion will go in there. You just kind of throw it in there. You can put chicken, everything. It's just so good. So anyway, what haven't I gone over? That was way out of order. Uh, avocados, I buy them as hard as I can get them. And then I put them next to the bananas, apples, some sort of fruit, and let them start to ripen up. As soon as they're ripe, I throw them in my fridge, and then they can stay in my fridge for about a week. But that's about how long I've found that you can keep them in there. Otherwise, they go bad. Um, okay, so we've done mushrooms. I put mushrooms in there too. Did I already say that? I don't know. Cauliflower, a uh, cantaloupe. He was on sale for a buck eighty-eight. So yeah, I bought him. Uh, green pepper, some cilantro, a jalapeno. I'm making pico, so that's gonna be really good. We're making quesadillas. I'll show them to you though. I'll link it if I've already made it, or just look and you'll see them. It's a, just an easy meal idea. Uh, zucchini, cucumber. I'm making like that zucchini. Uh, tostada pizza-ish type of thing. I made it with Home Chef before. I'm just recreating it because I liked it that much. Um, and then, yeah, two onions. So this one goes in my broil. This one goes in like pico Mexican type of things. Cream cheese, cherry tomatoes, I say that. I feel like I'm going to be repeating myself a lot because I'm really afraid I'm going to forget something. I always do. Some lettuce. I just really like washing my own. I mean, this one looks like he's pretty sad, but you just throw away the outer lettuce wrappers that you don't like or throw them out to the bunnies. Um, some creamer. I, I got Greek plain yogurt. This is similar to sour cream. So this is going to be like a sour cream substitute for me. So I just got a big honking bad boy. And then I bought this milk. This is from what company? Um, there we go. Burbox, Burbax, Burbatch, no, Burbach. I bet you it's Burbach. I don't know. They have the best milk. I'm not kidding. So if you ever can get their milk, it is so good. I should try, you know, some other of our dairy, like, farmers around here that have milk too. But I know that I love this milk. You have to pay two bucks for this um, jar. And then when you return it, it's a deposit. So you return the jar, you get your $2 back. It's just so that you actually return the jar. Anyway. Uh, French vanilla creamer and hazelnut creamer. I'm going to start watching my nephew in the mornings just for a couple weeks, months, uh, while his parents go through training at work. And so I'm going to need all the coffee I can get. So I decided I better buy fat free <laughs> because I'm probably going to be drinking way too much of it. Um, and then I also got some cheese. I got Colby Jack, mozzarella, and cheddar jack. And I thought I would try the fat-free, or not fat-free, but the reduced fat on the cheese. Um, I'm just trying to reduce as much as I can, okay? That's all. Um, and then we've got strawberry banana yogurt for Bella Boo, and maybe for my nephew as well. Charlie, you guys know him because I've sent you over to his mom's channel a few times. So if you ever want to, I'll link her channel up here. And that's who I'll be babysitting, his little baby Charlie Mac. He is the cutest. Okay, so then we got black beans, black olives, some sliced water chestnuts, and then a can of chicken. Now, you guys want to know, I think I've shared it before. It's chicken salad. You just make chicken salad. I add um, these water chestnuts to it, uh, a can of chicken, water chestnuts, a pickle, uh, maybe onion if you have it. You can just dice it up really itty bitty tiny. Some dill weed, paprika, a little bit of mayo. Mix it all up. Am I forgetting any ingredients, you guys? Ranch, 
little bit of ranch if you have it, like ranch dressing. Mix it up and then put it on to this Triscuit cracker, the fire roasted tomato and olive oil. Your life will be changed. It's so good. And it, you can do it for a snack, like an after school snack, a bedtime snack, a snack just in the middle of the day, or just make it for your lunch. We eat it for lunch a lot. Okay, so that's what we're doing with that. Then some black olives, goldfish crackers. Bella thought that she would want to share those with Charlie. So Bella and Charlie. Um, Parmesan cheese. I actually like to put this stuff on my popcorn. Anybody else? Uh, eggs. A bagel. Sandwich thins. These are perfect for um, pizza Lunchables. Just half of one of these thins and then some pizza sauce, and then whatever toppings you like to put on there. You could even bake them in the oven and melt the cheese and toast everything up, and it would be delicious. I bought them for myself for a sandwich, and then for Bella for pizza Lunchables. She's really excited, but then also kind of sad about sharing her favorite food. But guess what? She, I found that I have to share some of my favorites with her, so she's going to have to suffer too. But anyway... Uh, some flour tortillas. We're going to make some quesadillas. Yeah, so I said, didn't I say I bought some of the stuff to make pico? Yeah, so that's going to go with our quesadillas. And then we're going to use this um, Greek yogurt for our sour cream. And then, of course, even when you're trying to eat better, sometimes you need to have like a little snack. So I never deprive myself, clearly. But even like when I'm being conscious about things, I know that if I want to, I can have a couple spoonfuls of this. Just you can't overdo it. So I'm just trying to be conscientious of it. Just letting you know what's going on in my life. Okay, guys? You know, I've struggled. I get on it. I get off it. I get on it. I get off it. So just know that's my life. Um, don't be mad. I bought frozen corn on the cob. Don't be mad. It's just because I don't feel like I'm in the mood to shut corn. So I just bought it frozen. That's my only excuse is because I didn't want to shuck it. And it's so messy. Gosh. Uh, and then I got some bread and butter <laughs> chips, uh, pickles. I like these. I had not had them for a long time. And we had gone to a family reunion. And somebody had made them and had them to share. So I had some. And now I want more. So I had to buy them. So they're not homemade. But they're still going to be good. And then I thought I would get this for myself. I'm really bad at breakfast. I always complain that Bella's really bad at breakfast. So am I. So I totally get where she's coming from. So I thought maybe if I had something that sounded fun and interesting, I would want to eat breakfast. So this is what my goal is. So I'm going to eat this egg and spinach cheese medley. I don't know. We'll see. I'll let you know if they're good. If they're good, I will tell you. If they're nasty, I will tell you. If they're, eh, I'll tell you. I'll just tell you, okay? I'll tell you the truth. So anyway, this is all of our groceries. That was a long haul. I am so sorry. I talked way too much. But I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. And we will see you in our next video. Bye.